So let's start. Welcome to today's class. And uh, today we are going to work about something so nice. Let's work about it. Okay. This is the general two. Unidad eh, 51 Sports. Welcome. Welcome to your grammar and conversation class. This is your intensive course. Okay, we can hear you, but I don't think it is very well. Can you listen to me? Fine. Yes, can you hear me fine? Yes, but suddenly the audio is interrupted. Mm, I hear you, but not so well. Can hear you. All right. Situation. Well, I am going to try. Uh, I am going to try to speak slowly and remark everything I say. Okay. All right, let's continue. Okay, here we are. Mm -hmm. So, uh, could you help me reading the quote that we are going to present today? Okay. Uh, can you he help me? Some people look for a beautiful place. Others make a place beautiful. Okay, thank you very much. Hello, can you hear me? Yes. 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 Yeah. Excellent. Thank you very much. Cindy, thank you very much. Here we have some people look for a beautiful place. Other makes others make a place beautiful. I think that it is something so personal. So so nice. Let's make our place a beautiful place. All right. Thank you. Okay, excellent. Thank you. Now, let's continue. Here we go. Okay. Um, you know what? I need to remind you about the work in the workbook. Please, uh, could you write in the chat, how have you been working with the workbook? Uh, have you been using it? Write in the chat, please. Okay, Maria del Carmen, I started to use it today. All right, it's okay. Please write if you have been using the workbook, okay? It is very important that you use it. Okay, yes, I always answer the unit after the class in Zoom. Okay, thank you, Yesenia. Arisbeth, yes, I have been practicing with it. Excellent. Yes, I used it. Uh, from the starting of the course, Angel, pretty well. Laura, yes, I have worked in this, but I haven't finished all the exercises. Okay, Laura, pretty good. Try, let's continue. Astrid, I'm working in Unit 51 already, so I'm doing fine. Excellent, Astrid. Jessica, I have been writing in the PDF file and saving it after. Wow, good. Coil, yes, I have done it, but sometimes the explanations are not very clear. Mm, Coil, 
if you have any doubt about it, please contact me so that I can help you. Uh, yes, Gonzalez, yes, I have been answering the exercises. Excellent. So far, I think I'm going well. It's a great practice. Edgar, pretty good, thank you. Agustin, guess what? To be honest with you, the course has been very hard to follow because we spent an hour and a half to be connected and then in the afternoon, I have been doing my exams for units. Yes, I was doing it is intensive training. Betsaida, I have, I practice every day on morning to be prepared to the online class. I do, yes, I do after each class. Good. Yes, I think that it is an excellent feedback after class. Good. Okay, thanks. Okay, Tanya, I work in it after the online class. Good. Agustin, but checking out the workbook, I haven't opened it yet. I don't have been full of the opportunities. Okay, so Daniela, yes, it is very good for practicing. Okay. Um, Joel, welcome. Hello. Angelina, I work the unit after the la the online class only so the video. Okay. I have mm -hmm. only seen the video. And and I yes, I have been working with the workbook, but I'm missing today's lesson. Oh my. It's okay. Maria Carolina, today I worked with unit fifty one of the newspaper. I answered the units and they seemed very important to keep segmentation to the class. Okay, very good, Carol. Abby, I don't have any files. Nelly told me that until they saw my case, they should send me the extra files. Yes, Abby. Okay, Cindy, also after the online class. Okay, Lupita, start studying more and be able to solve the exercises in class. Pretty good, Monica. I follow the workbook, but there are some topics that are not in the platform, for, in the platform. for example, in the workbook, we learn about sequence word, and in the platform, we learn some expression to say regrets. Okay, you know what? The workbook is a very good opportunity for having some other content. All right, well, thank you very much, Agustin. Do you know what? Another thing I have already discovered in my learning process. I try and try and try my exams to be done, but it takes me at least three or four tries to be done, and it makes me to understand. Uh -huh. Okay, Marisa, I have been answering the PDF, although I cannot save um, what I answer. Mm, Marisol, don't worry. Contact Joel. She can help you. Well, yes, it has a lot of grammar structure and it's pretty useful. Excellent, pretty good. All right, so let's go to the next image. All right, so um, um, Betsaida, could you help me reading today's topics? Okay, class six, topics, grammar and writing. Wish con pasado perfecto para expresar arrepentimiento. Wish con el pasado para hacer hipótesis. Secuencias con first, next, then, etc. Manage to para expresar logros. Listening and speaking. Fundamentar la elección de algún objeto de acuerdo con necesidades específicas. Ok, thank you very much. Ok, those are the um, the contents that we are going to check today. And so, let's go on. All right. So, here we have some chunks of words, some pieces of vocabulary. Uh, and today, we are going to talk about sports. Uh, you know what? Here we have, well, some sports, for example, American football, Archery, athletics, baseball, basketball, boxing, cricket, cycling, football, soccer, golf, hockey, polo, rugby, tennis, swimming, and volleyball. Of course, there are more, but I think that, well, they are the 
mm, the most common, and the most well known. So why don't we write in the chat if we have practiced any any of these exam, uh, sports and if we would uh, have liked to practice some of them. For example, you know what? Uh, when I was in the uh, secondary school, I when I was in the secondary school, I I used to practice basketball. But for me, um, swimming was very attractive. Because you know what? I didn't practice swimming. But uh, I, I think it is a very interesting sport. Could you give me your opinion? about your uh, about the sports jessica wrote i haven't practiced any of these sports recently but when i was a child i used to practice swimming jesse pretty good thank you anybody else okay astrid wrote i love swimming i wish i could swim it uh, i wish i could swim now all right, very good. Moni, I have never practiced some sport, uh, but I would like cycling mountain. It is exciting. I think it is exciting. You feel excited when you practice that sport. Exciting is what causes us some emotion, and excited is how we are. Okay, so. Edgar, I practiced soccer when I was at the high school, but I wish I had practiced a lot more. Liz, I have been practicing swimming since I was in the high school because it is a good sport and keeps me healthy. Hey, Liz, pretty good. Yesenia, I played ball boy in high school, but I wish I had played tennis. Hey, you know what? I can see that you have been studying pretty good. Maria del Carmen, when I was at high school, um, I practiced swimming. Pretty good, Agustin. When I was in high school, it was very funny to me to play basketball, but while I got into swimming pool, it was terribly cold that I would wish, that I wish I had found that I wish I wish I had find it warmer okay so Daniela I go cycling every day at least for 30 minutes but I don't really like ball ball okay Carol when I was in elementary school I used to practice tennis great Angel I wish I practiced swimming when I was young okay when i was younger because you are young but say that when i was in the secondary school i used to practice tennis but then i preferred to practice dance okay i practiced swimming when i was in the middle school but i think i need more practice okay laura in the high school i played volleyball but i wish i could be a better player i was teen when i was in high school it was very funny for me to me to play basketball but while i got into the swimming pool it was terribly cold and i would have wish i wish i would have find it warmer okay and and i i wish i had practiced swimming because now i don't know how to swim okay abigail i practiced soccer but it was very bad in that sport so i just swimming uh, but i was very bad in that sport okay i was thin i wrote it wrong no, sorry now i improved it i think i think 
Okay, Agustin, good. Joel, when I was younger, I used to play soccer at, I wish I had had swimming class. Ah, I wish I had had swimming classes. Okay, Edgar, I haven't practiced rugby. I wish I had practiced. Uh, okay, Edgar, you know what? It is okay, but whenever we use this construction, I wish I had. It's because we are having a regret in the past. So I wish I could practice it in the future. I wish I could for the future. Uh, Angelina, I never practice any sport because I don't like it, but I like seeing box. Okay, Angeles. Jesse, when I was a child, I practiced soccer. Then in high school, I practiced volleyball, and now I practice box. Wow, good. Manuel, I practiced volleyball in the middle school, but I never liked it. How we are missing it. I was think that was great, Miguel, okay. Elizabeth, I practiced volleyball when I was in high school, and I wish I had continued practice. I wish I had Continued, no with been. Marisol, when I was in high school, I used to practice basketball. Now I like to pra practice tennis. Hey, that's pretty good. Thank you very much. Okay. So you know what? <clears throat> I wanted to introduce you to the use of I wish I had. But I am very pleased and very happy to see that you have been studying. And so you know how to manage it. Okay. Here we have a little scheme about how to talk about football. Here we are, some of the positions. Mm, I don't know, could anybody help us to understand it? Anybody who likes very much or who understand well how to, to talk about football, what are the elements? Volunteers, hello. Some volunteers. Hey, hello. What about men? Yes. Yes, okay, Liz. Okay, Liz. Liz. Yes, Liz. Yes. <laughs> Hello, Liz. Um, um, I don't like football, but my father is uh, is a fanatic, so I know. Hello. Yes, we listen to you. Liz, we can listen to you. Please continue. Okay. Uh, good keeper is um, el portero. Uh -huh. Team. Equip. Okay. Okay. Good. Keeper and portero. Okay, excellent. I want to help her. Yes, please, Angeles. Okay. Player, jugador, referee, arbitro, fans, okay. um, defend, defender, defensa. And um, pitch, cancha, uh, coach, entrenador, and um, midfielder, um, es media, media cancha, and um, jersey is that the um, playera. Playera. <laughs> Thank you. Okay. <laughs> And uh, whistle, 
silbato, fan, it's a um, hair equipo. That the supporters is okay. the same fans. Okay, excellent. Thank you. You know what? I I think that I understand a little about this sport. I think that the player is the person who performs all of the 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 match. The player is the uh, person who plays this sport, of course. And I, as far as I am concerned, the fans are the people who are supporting the, the team and cheering uh, them to play much better, to feel motivated, maybe. Uh, Whistle is the uh, an object that is useful whenever you have to uh, mark something that it's kind of like a key clue uh, so that they know that it is something wrong and they stop. Well, as far as I am concerned, am I correct with whistle? Perfect. Thank you. I am not very bad about this, but you know what? I am not very clear. I have not very clear the concept about what a defender do. What do, what does the defender do? I want to participate. Yes, please. Look, um, when I was in, in elementary school, I was chosen as a good defender because I loved running uh, towards the ball. And then I used to take it out from a, another attacker, especially the person who was trying to make the goal against us, against our team. So I was a good defender because I could take the ball out of his, out of his feet. Then my next, um, my next challenge to be done was to, to pass the ball to the, to the meal, midfielder or to the uh, mine, uh, mine attacker. Then the attacker could make the goal in, in the name of our team. So that was very fun to do because it was a very close teamwork to be done. And I love doing that because I am not a good midfielder and I am the worst attacker because I love running, but I lose the ball anytime. So very easy. Oh so my. I was take it out but I was not good at running um, towards the ball. So that's why I was, I was a good defender. And I really loved being a fan in, oh my. in, uh, in the soccer um, matches, especially when they're in the, the Pumas are playing or Leons. So that's what I can share about it. And when my students are playing, I have a trumpet, which I love ringing. I love sounding it very loudly. And it gives me emotional vitamins to be cheering them up. That's what I love doing in soccer. Wow, Augustine, thank you very much. That was a very nice uh, remind that you wanted to share with us. Thank you very much. That was wonderful. No, thank you for listening. And now I understand a little better. <laughs> okay. <laughs> thank you. Okay. Anybody else who would like to to share anything with us? Don't be shy. Come on, kids. No, anybody else? <laughs> All right. Well, you are very shy, but anyway, let's continue. Thank you very much. Okay, here we go. Okay, you know what? Here we have the video. Uh, I, I have done some changes in the platform, so let's hope that we can watch it now, all right? Please. Tell me if you can listen to it. No. 
No. No. No. En esta ocasión ¿Sí? quise empezar de una forma más relajada, porque el tema de, la de hoy sí que lo merece. ¿Es? Nada más que no te lo voy a decir. Tú lo tienes que descubrir. How? Muy fácil. Vas a escuchar tres pistas de audio con sonidos referentes al tema. Y al terminar, si eres un experto o experta en la materia, lo habrás descubierto. Ahí va la primera pista. Bueno, ahí va la segunda pista. Now you can have an idea, haven't you? Con la tercera y última pista, seguramente sí tendrás la respuesta. Well done. Hoy vamos a hablar de deportes, en especial del fútbol, ya que se trata del que quizás sea el deporte más popular del mundo, además de atribuírsele su creación a Inglaterra, nada más de acuerdo para un programa sobre inglés. Más adelante veremos una entrevista con un futbolista de aquel país, quien nos platicará acerca de su carrera, sus aciertos y errores, y de una interesante labor que realiza en pro del deporte. También aprenderemos a expresar nuestros deseos, pasados y presentes, mediante frases como I wish I was taller, Veremos la forma de felicitar a los demás con expresiones como Well done, o lamentar alguna situación con frases como It's a pity, o What a shame. Cada vez más gente practica algún deporte, o bien hubieran deseado practicarlo. Veamos cómo se expresan sobre este tema nuestros amigos David, Natalie y Kevin. Hello. Hello. Hi. Today we look at sport. And we talk to this man. Justin Fashionu, a professional footballer. We all played different sports at school. That's right. I played rugby at school. I didn't like it. I wish I'd played golf. When I was at school, I played baseball. I wish I'd played tennis. I did play tennis at school. And I won the school cup. Congratulations. Well done. I played rugby at school. I wish I'd played golf. I wish I had played golf. I wish I'd played golf. I played baseball at school. I wish I'd played tennis. ¿Te fijaste en los deportes que les hubiera gustado practicar? Por ejemplo, David jugaba rugby y desearía haber jugado golf. Y Kevin jugaba béisbol y desearía haber jugado tenis. And you, which sport do you wish you played at school? Vamos con Natalie, quien les pregunta a varias personas sobre qué deportes jugaban en la escuela y, y cuáles desearían haber practicado. Which sports did you play at school? Rugby, cricket and basketball. Tennis, netball, hockey, gymnastics, swimming. High jumping. And I reached a, a county standard in that sport. I also played hockey, football and rugby. I didn't play sports at school. Which sports do you wish you'd played at school? I wish I'd played tennis at school. I wish I'd tried fencing, archery, subaqua diving. I wish I'd played cricket at school. I wish that I'd had the opportunity earlier in life to do more climbing. En Inglaterra hay deportes muy populares, pero que en Latinoamérica, en especial en México, apenas se sabe que existen y ni pensar en que se practiquen a nivel masivo. Ejemplos: el rugby, el cricket, el hurling, etc. ¿Sabes por qué los entrevistados mencionaron fútbol y aparte mencionaron soccer? Es que hay varios tipos de fútbol y el soccer es solo uno de ellos. Eso sí. Okay, thank you very much. I don't know if you could listen to the video. Uh, fine, if you could see it well. Hello. Yeah, could you listen to the video? Of course, uh, it is preferable that we listen to all the video, but it's too uh, too much because it lasts kind of 20 minutes. So you can find the video in the platform in Unit 51. 
Okay, so that you continue watching it. Ray, okay? Yeah. Okay. All right, thank you. So, hey, we have in here some, some other uh, reminds. Betsaida said, I used to play tennis in the school, but I wish I had played basketball to grow up. I'm short. Oh, Betsaida, <laughs> that's good. All right, Agustin. I was the worst volleyball player because when I, it was my turn to throw the ball at the beginning, I used to throw it far away and out way of the field. Oh my, okay. All right, thank you very much. Okay, so Astrid told me that she watches the video before a class. Okay, Agustin wrote, I wish I could be a good starter in volleyball. Oh, good. That's pretty good. Okay, so yes, today we are going to talk about the structure for expressing regret in the passive in a passive event, um, because we wish to have done something different. Uh, here we have the structure, and uh, here it is. First of all, the subject, because you know it. Subject, wish, plus the object, plus have, and or verb in past participle, plus the complement. Example, uh, Manuel, could you help me reading the first example? Um, I wish I had studied harder at school. Thank you very much. Okay, come on, continue, Manuel. Manuel, hello. Oh, uh, sorry. She wishes <laughs> she had gone uh, to the concert. Number three, he wishes she had visited him in the hospital. And number four, we wish you had come with us to the um, gala. Gala, thank you very much. So here we see that wish is going to change in the third person of the singular. Okay, Manuel, thank you very much. Let's go to the next uh, image. You know what? Uh, of course, we need to check all of the context that we have prepared in the in the presentation but i see that you have been studying very hard i see that you know how to use it so yes we are going to review to review it but i i don't think it could be so necessary okay so anybody else any volunteer to help reading me jesse gonzalez okay jesse we listen to you. You wish I had not seen you kissing another girl. Hey. Second, she wishes she had not eaten too much hamburgers. He wishes she had not visited him in the hosp in the hospital. And four, they wish they had not forgotten their mother's birthday. Thank you very much, Jesse. Okay. Thank you. Anybody else to help? I just this? wonder. I just wondering. I, I want to make a question. So the first verb wish needs to be in simple present. Yes, that's it. Um, you know what? It is. It is going to be used in simple present. But whenever we translate it into Spanish, it means something like desearía. Ah, thank you. That's why my confusion was. Uh -huh, it's Thank you very much, Maggie. Wish, and you, into Spanish, you say desearías. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm, mm -hmm. So I need to remember that the first wish is in simple present, and the rest needs to be in past participle. Yeah, in, pres in past perfect. Past perfect. Thank you. My pleasure. You know what? Sometimes the confusion is because of the interference between our first language and the second language. That's our, right. Mm -hmm. yeah, that's it. So into Spanish, we say desearía. It's uh, mm -hmm. but mm -hmm. into it, it doesn't exist. So we need to express it in a different way. 
So we, mm -hmm. we say it like this. Mm -hmm. Thank you. My pleasure. Okay, so Edgar wrote, I don't know if it's just me, but the screen I can see. Yeah, it's a very low like quality. Can. I barely can read the words. Uh, the screen. So after yeah. it will happen. Yeah. The same for me. For the screen is bad. Okay, let me um, try to fix it. Mm -hmm. Oh. Is it better? No. Uh, no, 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 it's the same. It's the same, no. Okay. Only the, the big words, I can I can see the big words, but the, the little ones, it's nothing, barely. Okay, now what about it? Is it better? No. No, it's the same. No, it's the same. Oh my. Okay. Let me, let me try to do it. Is it better? No. 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 It's exactly the same. Okay. Yes. No. No. Yes. No. Okay. Yes. No, it's totally clear. That's great. Okay. Hi, Maggie. If you want, you can share it with me and I post it in the WhatsApp group. Oh, yes. Please, you you know what? Mm. Now I can read it well. Yes, it's very clear now. Yeah, is it now? Okay. Yes, yes, yes. Yes. It's perfect now. Excellent. Joel, thank you very much. Now we have already solved the situation. You are wonderful, Joel. Thank you. Okay. So let's continue. Here we have uh, some other examples. Um, Please, Aurelina, could you help us reading the other examples? Okay. Say, I wish I had passed all my exams. Ojalá hubiera aprobado todos mis exámenes. Uh -huh. I wish I had been able to buy, sorry, to buy tickets for that concert. Ojalá hubiera podido comprar entradas para ese concierto. I wish he had told me the truth. Ojalá me hubiera dicho la verdad. I wish I hadn't met him. Ojalá no lo hubiera conocido. Excellent. Thank you very much. Yes, as far as we can see in here, uh, it, it can be translated as ojalá, or we can say it desearía haber, or desearía no haber. Okay, so you can translate it in both ways. Okay, so let's continue. Uh, well, I don't know if you have any questions so far, so good? No, Maggie. Yes, no. yes it's okay. Yeah. All right. Okay. I think, I think I'm going to practice this because I'm, I'm getting an insight right now that there is a song, very, very famous song from Beth Midler that she sings is, did you ever know that you're my hero? You're everything I would like to be. I can fly higher than an eagle. You are the wings beneath my wings. And she says, um, um, I wish I could be uh, something like that. That it helps me to remember that kind of structure. Mm -hmm, that's it. You know what? It's kind of like a, a mind mapping. Uh, when you remind something because of any any song, any advertisement, anything, mm -hmm. and even though, mm -hmm. yeah. And you know what? You you sing beautifully. <laughs> I'm just matching. Yeah, I I wish you had sung a little more for us. Yeah, if I could remember, I wish <laughs> I could remember the whole lyrics. Excellent. I will do it once again. All right. Thank you very Thank you. much. Okay. So let's continue. Here we go. Uh, anybody else who helped us reading? Volunteers. Come on, kids. Yes, I can. Thank you, Edgar. Mientras que para los deseos de una situación presente, usamos la siguiente estructura de wish. Ejemplo, I wish I were rich, but I'm not. 
Yo deseo, ojalá, que fuera rico, pero no lo soy. I wish I could fly. Ojalá pudiera volar. I wish I, I spoke English more fluently. Ojalá hablara inglés más fluidamente. I wish I lived in a house near to the beach. Ojalá viviera en una casa cerca de la playa. Affirmative. Okay. Yeah. Yes. Yeah. All right. Thank you. Just give me a moment. It's okay. You know yeah. what? Here we are watching the way that we are going to express something that we wish it happened in the present. It is different because the other one was for the past. So we used the structure in past participle, past perfect. But here it is in present. And something that I would like to remark is this. I wish I were, instead of I wish uh, I was. For me, correct, could be I wish I was. But in this case, we are going to use where for all the persons. I wish I was, I, I wish I were, I wish you were, I wish he were, I wish he were. Okay, for example, you can say, I wish she were my friend because she is not. Okay? The two forms are correct then, or I don't understand clearly. Ah, yes. In this case, whenever we talk about verb to be and wish in the present, the, we are going to use were for all the persons, not was. For example, instead of saying, I wish I was, no. We are going to say, I wish I were, okay? Instead of saying, I wish she was, we will say, I wish were. Okay. But it is only in this form, not in any other way. Okay. <coughs> Maggie, in Maggie, in the, Maggie in, the, in the platform, the correct answer is you said uh, was. was. Was? Yes. In the platform. In the platform. All right. Then I am going to check it up. I, I want to make a clarifying exposition to, to yes. Abby, I think. It was the one who was making the question, which is the difference between the, those two phrases, those two different structures. The first is, I wish I had done this like a regretting thinking. Mm -hmm. And the past. a real wish into the vision, into the future. Oh, my, my great wish is to, to, have, to, to study this specific lesson. Mm -hmm. That's it. Whenever we regret about something in the past, we say, I wish I had been rich. Exactly. If it is in the present for a future, I mm -hmm. wish I wear. Exactly. Mm -hmm. That's it. Okay. Excuse me, I don't understand in this part. I don't understand that, say the Agustin. Ah, it's because we are Excuse making the, the comparison about the other form that said, I wish I had been, for example, in the past. Let's make an example. I wish I had been a tall girl, no, for example, because I was so short. Now I am a short woman. I wish I were taller. A tall, a taller, a taller woman. Okay, I use this first in the past because I was a short girl. Mm -hmm. That's why I use this construction. I wish I had been in the past. Mm -hmm. Now, in the present, I am not a tall woman. I am short. So I wish I were a taller woman than I am. Mm -hmm. the, the difference is that this first is for the past. The second for the present, okay, it is, that's why the, the structure is different. I understand that is when we're talking about something that is not the impossible thing, 
it's like in Spanish you would say el hubiera o si fuera. So I wish I were, I wish I lived in the moon, but it's not like <laughs> that. So I use where, where to speak about the impossible. Uh -huh. I wish I were stronger. I wish I were European or whatever. Uh -huh, that's Something it. like it's the impossible, the unreal time, I think. Yes, that's how I understand it. Excellent, yes. Good. And the first one is for the past. Right. Excellent. Yeah, when you, re when you regret. Yeah, yes. me hubiera gustado haber hecho. Ajá. Right. Yes, that's right. excellent. Se, hey. puede, se puede decir que es el wish de arrepentimiento y el wish de deseo. Ajá, uh -huh. it could be wish I have. It's de arrepentimiento. From the past. I wish I were es del deseo. Ajá, uh -huh. something that I, I would like to be different in the present. Yeah. Hey, Hi. pretty good. So far, so good. Any other question? No. No? no. Okay, thank you very much. No, thank you. Okay, so let's continue. Okay, so this is the negative part, form. Um, could anybody help us reading? Eh, Ángel. Ok, Ángel. Ok, negativa. Eh, you wish you were not here in this moment. She wishes she did not call him last night. He wishes he were not guilty. They wish they were not so mean to their brother. Importante, recuerda que el pasado del verbo to be para todas las personas es where. That's all. Yes, that's it. That's what we were, were talking about. Okay, thank you very much. So, um, Joel wrote in affirmative form, the form of the second part is always used in past simple. Yes, that's it, Joel. Pretty good. So, what do you mean? write something about what we regret for example i don't know i wish my sister were here because you know what uh, she's very far on vacation but i need her so i wish my sister were here so why don't you give me some examples like this? In the chat, okay? I wish I went vacations. Hey, Anai, that's pretty good. Maggie, yes. I have a question. Yes, In the example. Okay, she wishes she did not call him last night. Aha. Uh -huh. She wishes she did not call him. Ella desearía no haberlo llamado. Is did or were? Uh, in this case, is did. You know what? We are going to use were whenever we are referring to verb to be. But as here, the verb, the main verb is call, then we are going to use the auxiliary did. did. Okay. The particle not. Okay, thank you. My pleasure, no worries. Okay, here we are. I wish I had a cap immediately after my English lesson. Hey, that's pretty good, Agustin. Tania, I wish I were on the beach. Oh, yes. <laughs> that would be beautiful. Okay, so... Uh, Laura, I wish my mom cooked chocolate cake. Oh, yes, good. Uh, Tania, um, I wish I were on the beach. Good, Tania, I wish I traveled to Vallarta. Oh, beautiful. Angel, I wish I were in a, in a cold place. Yes. Astrid, I wish I had more students in my summer course. Good. Danny, 
I wish I had taken those extra dancing classes. I wish she hadn't bought that dress before me, before I, before I did. Okay, Monica, I wish I had money to take vacations. Oh my, me too. <laughs> Manuel, I wish I were beaten, I weren't beaten by that dog. Um, you know what, Manuel, I think that this was in the past. So the correct one is, I wish I hadn't been beaten by that dog. Jesenia, I wish I were taller. Good. I wish I were driving a small car. I was thinking, I wish I could sleep on the bus. Very good. And Maria del Carmen, I wish I bought a new car. Very good. Abigail, I wish I, I, I traveled all over the world. Very good. Carolina, I wish I had read a book. Good. I I wish I were, uh, I wish I had, a, I had approached my activities in the first opportunity. Liz, he wishes he were, he hadn't bought that car because it needs some expensive repairs. In, in this case, as we are referring to actions, it is in the past, I wish I had done. Okay, so, she wishes you could rise. yes? Uh, I have a doubt. Yes, um, I, I understand that in the second part, uh, we have to use a word um, for the complement. But in the second sentence where it says uh, she wishes she didn't not, why not use had or had not instead of to did? Uh, because whenever we talk about the past, we use the has. I wish she had not called him uh, uh -huh, because of the past. You know what? I think that here we have a mistake because it is in the past. She says last night. So she wishes she had not. You're right. Here the correct is had. Yes. Had not called him last night. Uh, had not called yeah. uh, because it is in the past. It, yes, in present. Uh -huh. If it were different, for example, she wishes she did not call him ever. It's because in the future she refers to next. Or oh, she wishes she did not meet him. That that could be, but yes, you're right. Here, the correct is she wishes she had not called him. Yes, you know, uh, when I was resolving the the exercise in the in the platform, I f I found that that well, in fact, I I am like uh, confused when we use the modal verbs after to bear uh, uh, the after to the second part to this kind of exercise. That for me is very confused. Yes, yeah, so, so very confusing because of the functions. Sometimes we have to pay attention uh, very carefully to the meaning and so that we can check the function of every uh, auxiliar uh, model verb and we could select the correct one. Okay. Uh, okay thank you, Maggie. All right, my pleasure. So Edgar wrote, I wish I had bought, I don't know, I wish I I bought a new professional camera. It's okay, Edgar. Jesse, I wish I had not held to my dog. The verb should be in past. I wish I had not yelled to my dog. Jesse, I wish I I learned French very good, Jesse. I wish I had gone to the trip. Very good, Marie. My students wish they were all in the same team. Pretty good, Jesse. Uh, you wish you were in England, Brenda Cruz, but with a thousand pounds in your wallet. Oh, yes. <laughs> That's very good. 
María Carolina, I wish I had bought a blue car. Okay. Arisbeth, I wish the day would last longer. This sentence is correct. Aha. Uh -huh. No, I wish the day lasted. Lasted longer. Uh, needs to be done into past. Whenever we refer to something that is not happening in the present, uh, we should do it in, in past. Okay. Excellent. Now, uh, let's use the uh, the use of the the connectors, the linking words. I wish she had not eaten my cake. Let's see, pretty good. All right, so let's go to the next. Anybody to help listening or uh, reading? I mean, me, Angeles. Angeles, please. Ahora veremos el uso de conectores para indicar el orden en una secuencia de eventos. Este tipo de conectores se pueden dividir en las siguientes categorías y pueden ser utilizados para recetas, dar los pasos para llegar a algún lugar, entre otros. Category, categoría. Introduction of ideas. Introducción. Uh, excuse me, excuse me. Introduction of ideas. Introducción. First, sequence different actions, secuencia de eventos o acciones, next, luego, later, más tarde, then, entonces, after that, después de esto. Conclusion, conclusión, finally, finalmente. Cuando uses conectores, debes tener en cuenta dos cosas. Normalmente se escriben al principio de la oración o párrafo y siempre van seguido de comas. Thank you very much. Okay, so I think that this is very interesting, very, very nice for us to uh, do something understandable, something that we can um, for expressing, for narrating. Okay, so let's see an example on how to use it. For example, here we have how to make an English cup of tea. Uh, first of all, we are going to make the introduction of ideas. Here we are. Uh, we can say first, you have to boil water in a kettle. Then, it is the other linking word, you warm the teapot with boiling water. After that, put some tea, Earl Grey if possible into the pot, the teapot. If from sequence, we have next, leave it for two to four minutes, depending on the tea. And for concluding, later, pour the tea into the cup, and finally, you can put some milk into the cup, and your cuppa is ready. Enjoy. Okay, pretty good. So, why don't we share a very simple recipe of anything. For example, the recipe for gelatin, the recipe for lemon fresh water, fresh water, something that could be very easy and fast to do. Could we share it into the chat, please? Okay, money, pretty good. How to make a peanut butter sandwich. I to see it, how to borrow plants. How to, how to make a sandwich, all right. 
Okay, pretty good. So here we have Agustin wrote how to change a tire of your car. First, get a tool to leave the car enough. Second, take out the four or five. I got lost. I will change the subject. I quit this. <laughs> All right, Agustin, pretty good. But Saida, how to make a quesadilla. Okay, how to make your own pencil case. Wow, very good. First, you buy all the ingredients. Very good, you see. Maria del Carmen, how to grow different seeds. Fernanda, how to make a cup of tea. Okay. Joel, how to make lemon water. First, put water into a bottle. Second, cut a few lemons. Very good, Joel. Maria Carolina, how to make a chocolate donut. Okay. Angeles, first you have the bread, then put the Nutella, and mm. finally eat it. Hey, Angeles, pretty good. And pretty delicious. Yesenia, how to okay. use a photocopier. Excellent. Okay. How to make hot cakes. Very good. Okay. Monica, first you put the peanut butter in the slice of bread, then you put the strawberry jam, and finally, you eat it. Wow, beautiful. Pretty good, thank you. Danny, how to send a WhatsApp? First, you have to open the WhatsApp app. Next, you choose the person or group who you are going to send the message. Once you are in the chat, you have to send the message. Finally, you push the send button, and you finish. Now, you can write tons of messages. Wow, yeah. Abby, that was good. Abby, how to make rice? Pretty good. Betsaida, how to make a quesadilla? First, you need a tortilla, chihuahua cheese. Then you make slices of cheese. After that, you put the cheese on the tortilla. Later, you put the tortilla with cheese over. The and finally, you enjoy a delicious quesadilla. Wow, delicious. Teacher, do we use comma after then? Yes, yes. Then, comma. Yes, to start my class first, we make the initial prayer, then we dance a little, then we go to the bathroom, and finally, we start working. Good, very good. Maria del Carmen, growing plants. First, put the soil, then add the seeds. Later, water plants. Okay, good. Excellent, thank you. Agustin, how to make paella? Oy. First, fry a cup of big uh, rice, rice on a pan. Then, chop some already washed chicken legs, beef in small pieces, some oysters, and a feast of shrimp. Let it get golden. And finally, add three cups of water and red pepper to color it. Put the lid on and wait until it is done. Enjoy it with some light aside. Wow, so delicious. Liz, how to make a taco? Wow, take your favorite ingredients and put it into, and put them into the tortilla. Good, excellent. Liz, you know what, it was very good but try to use the linking words. For example, first, take your favorite ingredient, then put it into the tortilla, and finally, eat it. Laura, how to sleep in night, at night? 
first prepare a glass of milk with honey. Then put your pajama. <laughs> yes. Next, uh, drink the delicious milk. And finally, go into the bed and enjoy your drinks. Wow. <laughs> I like it very much. Yesenia, how to make hot cakes? First, put the flour in the blender with the eggs. Then put some butter in the pan. Later, put the mixture in the pan. After that, when you see some bubbles tumble, the hot cake. And finally, you can eat. Whoa, delicious. Okay. Edgar, how to make a hard boiled egg? First, you have to put the egg in some water. Then you have to boil it for five to seven minutes. Next, leave it to rest, to chill. Later, crack the shell and finally put some salt mm, and enjoy. Hey, that's pretty good. Jesse Gonzalez, how to use a photocopier? First, you turn on the photocopier. Then, you put the face on the photocopier. Uh, on the paper that you want to copy on the screen of the of the copier. Next, you select the paper size and how many copies you want. Later, you push the start button and the copier starts working. After that, pick up the papers from the tray. Finally, turn off the machine when you finish. Wow, very good. Adisbet, to make fried eggs. First, heat a pan. After put oil in it and finally break an egg and wait. Oh, that's great. I was thinking milk for the hot cakes. Yes, <laughs> you forgot milk. Cold milk. Mm. Okay, how on the heater? How on the heater? Okay. All right, thank you very much. Okay, you know what? Let's go to the next. I, I know that you are so brilliant. So you have done it pretty well. We have now this beautiful practice. <laughs> I'm hungry. Yeah, I, I wish I had a cup of coffee here. <laughs> Emmanuel, in a pot, place some flower seeds and soil. Water them and live in a place where there is no direct light to the pot. In 15 days, the sunflower bean will begin to sprout. Wow, hey, it's a lesson with lots of fun. <laughs> yes, that's wonderful. Okay, you know what? I think that we have come to the very exciting part of this practice because we have to mention three things that you regret doing in your childhood. I have to confess something that is very shaming to me. I wish I hadn't stolen candy to my grandfather. You know what? That was, when I was a little girl, my grandfather had a little store and he used to sell candy. So I, I confess, I had a criminal organization with my cousins. And so we distracted my grandpa and later on we all, the other ones went to the store, stole the candy and later on we ran away, everybody together. Now I regret because my teeth, you know, I had enormous cavities in my front teeth. And so I wish I hadn't done it. That's what I confess. Okay. Angelina, first push the, the pilot button. Then you put the fire lighter, finally turn the on button. Hey, <laughs> Agustin, perhaps we are cousins because I had a grandpa who sold candy too. <laughs> yes, <laughs> maybe, why not? 
Oh my, Yesenia, I wish I had not eaten a lot of candy. Oh my. <laughs> Zaira, I wish I hadn't bitten her nose to my kindergarten classmate. Betsaida, did you? <laughs> oh my. That's wonderful. Mm. What else I regret doing? Okay, so we have in here, Manuel wrote, I wish I hadn't lent to my friend. Oh my. <laughs> Danny, I wish I hadn't lost my favorite doll. Oh my. Edgar, I wish I hadn't pulled the fur of my dog because he a little bit. <laughs> Maria Carolina, I wish I hadn't torn the fruit from my grandmother's trees. That fruit was for chiles de nogada. Oh, my. Monica, I wish I had taken care of my teeth. Oh, me too. <laughs> Maria del Carmen, I wish I had watched the video before the class. <laughs> okay. Astrid, I wish I hadn't got married so young. Oh, my. Uh, Agustin, I wish I hadn't been rude to one of my middle school teachers. She told me a lot. Mm -hmm. Lupita, I wish, I wish I didn't, I hadn't eaten much chocolate every day. Ah, oh, chocolate. <laughs> Laura, I wish I hadn't drunk all the syrup bottle. <gasps> my, <laughs> Jesse, I wish I had not hit my cousins because they don't want to play with me. <laughs> Liz, I wish I had been more kind. I, w I wish I had been kinder with my brother when we were kids. Oh, Jesse, I wish I had spent more time with my grandparents. Oh, good, yes. I wish I had played some sport like basketball because I didn't grow up. I'm a very short person. I only measure 1.49. Oh, my. Angelina, I wish I hadn't eaten candies because I could have Half better. Oh my. What? I, when I was in kindergarten, believe it or not, I used to be a troublemaker. On one of those days, I guess that my teacher didn't stand me anymore because she started crying when she saw me. So I wish I hadn't made my kindergarten teacher cry. She cried for two hours, I guess. Still, her eyes turn in red. And well, I think that I have improved. I hope so. <laughs> I am not so bad as I used to be. All right. So what about anybody else? OK. I wish I hadn't learned to swim. And uh, no, I think I wish I had learned to swim. Okay, I wish I had played Mario Bros with my brother. Oh, okay, pretty good. Okay, kid, let's go to the next. Okay, here we have a, another. Uh, Another practice about linking words, but you know what? I think that it's enough. We don't need to, to prepare more food. Not anymore. Okay. <laughs> oh my goodness. Here we have another practice, but it is, well, it is nice. Activity six, six which is the person for your grandmother. Give your reasons why use linking words. For example, I guess that, well, for my grandmother, my goodness. 
<laughs> I don't know. I, I couldn't select one of these. Frame. Oh, yes, the frame. Yes, you're right. <laughs> well, first, because she has beautiful pictures. Secondly, because she doesn't wear any of these pieces of clothes. And finally, because yeah, I guess it is the most appropriate for my grandmother. Okay, so Abigail wrote, I wish I hadn't eaten so much sweet with my cousins. Oh, <laughs> Marisol, I wish I hadn't cut my brother's hair when I was two years old because I hurt him from his ear. Oh, Mari. Okay. Joel, I wish I hadn't escaped from the kindergarten. Joel, you know what? I did it also. But I was in maternal. <laughs> Jesus Christ. I told you. I told you I was a troublemaker. Uh, Agustin, I think your teacher saw in you a great future so she could stop you of being a troublemaker. <laughs> yes, she did. <laughs> All right, Fernanda, this is my first class here because I have been having some problems to enter. So I wish I hadn't have any problem with this course. Oh, Fernanda, welcome. We are very happy to see you here. Cindy, I wish I had not broken with my first love. Oh my, <laughs> yes. I think if I had a grandmother, I could give her an iPod so she could play and watch her favorite series. Ah, that would be a great present. Good. All right, welcome, Fer. Okay, I was thinking, you know what? <clears throat> I guess you're right. Sometimes I, I think, well, I have thought that elderly people don't like to cope with technology, but nowadays they do. I have seen many elderly people who are using their cell phones with mastery and they, they can manage the flat screens, the iPads, so yes, I think it is a great, a great gift. I guess that the best present for my grandmother is a teddy bear because she loves toys. Oh, good. Then it to my grandmother the iPad first because the one she has is too old. Second because she loves to take pictures and play. Finally because. She can do FaceTime with me. Oh, that's great. Uh, it's Kahoo time. Hey, guess what? I think that we are going to skip today Kahoot because we haven't finished. Guess what? We have here another practice. Uh, we are going to skip this because I consider that it is very important to tell you something. Here we have a listening activity. This listening activity is going to be very important for you. We are not going to listen to all of that because it lasts kind of like 20 minutes, but we are going to listen the first part and then we are going to continue listening to it at home. That's something that I suggest because this is a, an exam preparation. Here we go. Okay, please let me, let me know if you can see it properly and if you can listen to it because it is very important. Come on, YouTube. Hello. It is lasting a little, but please do it. It's very important. Okay, can you see it? 
Yes. All right. Now let's start listening to it. Yes, I can see it. Okay. All right, let's listen. For each question, there are three pictures and a short recording. For each question, choose the correct answer. A, B, or C. Before we start, here is an example. Where is the girl's hat? Where's your new hat, Sally? I hope you haven't left it on the school bus. Don't worry, Mum. I put it in my school bag because I was too hot. Are you sure? I can't see it there. You probably dropped it in the road somewhere. Oh, here it is, hanging in the hall. Oh, I forgot to take it on it. Then the judge was an word me mail because it is very important. It is a, a video that will help you so much for training in your listening uh, in your listening exam here it is can you see the ah yes that's it that's the problem joel thank you very much yeah we are going to send it to you here it is what we are trying to check it is in youtube and i will send it to you in your mail because it is a very important part of listening. Okay, so here it is. Mm. Listening B1, first exam, pet listening English. Look, look for it in YouTube, the platform. Yes, Manuel, those are those are the, the videos. <laughs> That's it. Yes, we are going to send you the links so that you can check them up because they are very important. Okay. So, you know what? It, it is away. So, uh -huh. yes, that's it. Mm, we are going to do it. I am going to send it to Yol so that she can uh, join with you in the uh, in the WhatsApp group. And either way, I'm going to send it to you to your mail. All right, all right, okay. So, thank you, thank you very much. Um, Agustin said, thank you very much. It has been a great pleasure to see you once again, because I need to run once again to the traffic center so I can get to Mexico City on time. So, time flies very quick, it sleeps away. All right, well, thank you very much for your attendance. If the plan doesn't work, change the plan, but never change the goal. Thank you and have a good night. Thank you, Mary. Thank you, Mary. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Good night, everyone. Good night, everyone. Me See too. Tomorrow. See you tomorrow. See you tomorrow. See you tomorrow. Bye. 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 Thank you. Bye. Bye. Good night. Good night. Good night. Have Bye. a good night. Thank you. Thank you. Bye. <clears throat> Abby, please don't forget to contact Joel. Okay, thank you very much. Have a very good night.